Hiya and welcome back to Dear Me WLS. Um, it's week 27 and this video is not going to be as positive I don't think as the other ones. I've really really been struggling the last couple of weeks, probably a few months really since my last video I was putting off doing my 20 week update. I think that I've got quite a lot of like anxiety and I'm really low low mood um I've noticed a lot of it is to do with hormones maybe the weather um and I think that I'm anemic I'm I've got a blood test tomorrow um which I've also been putting off I'm taking on my vitamins um I just want to quickly do the stats. My highest weight was 308 pounds, surgery weight was 281 pounds and my current weight is 190. Um, I haven't even weighed today and I it's not like me. I'm not, I don't think I've gained weight. I don't think that this has got anything to do with weight or my body image or anything. I, I just think that I'm out of balance somewhere. My hormones are horrific. I'm just really up and down and I've been really ill. I've had um, a virus for three months and my body cannot get over it. The doctor's given me antivirals. Um, I'm just not myself and there's not really one specific particular thing that I can put on there's a reason for it I've literally not wanted to do this video I forced myself today it's giving me anxiety just trying to think right just do it just get on with it and do it and so that I can look back at it and realize that a lot of people probably go through this a lot of people are going through hormonal changes I know that our hormones are stored in our fat cells so as we're burning the fat you know, I'm still at an age where I can, I'm fertile, so every month I'm up and down, up and down, but I, I just cannot get like through the fog. There's a fog or a mist there that I just seem to be dipping in and out of, and I'm, not, I'm never coming above it, and it's been sort of the, the last two or three months. Um, I don't want to go on antidepressants ever. I've been on them before, and they really messed me up. Um, I think that... I've just had a lot of sort of changes going on, nothing really mental, I'm not, my family isn't struggling, my sort of mental health as in past things or food or anything, there's nothing to do with that, there's nothing I can put my finger on, it's literally just something's not right. Um, so I'm putting it down to a few things. I think that it's hormones. I think that I've been ill for so long um, that I've literally not wanted to come out of my room. That that is how bad it's got. I, I want to just stay in my own room by myself. And that I know is like depression. And I don't feel as if there's anything wrong with my life for me to be this depressed. And I'm not even viewing it as depression. I just want to want time to myself. It's just bizarre. I've never ever felt like this at all in my life. Um, I my periods are quite bad, which again hormones. Um, I'm taking all of the vitamins I think that I should be. Although I'm bruising quite badly, which is probably why the doctor and they're everywhere. They're not just you know, in random places where I banged myself and I know that I'm a lot thinner so I haven't got as much cushioning but it, this is not really normal bruising either, they're just kind of coming out. So I think that the dose of iron that I've been taking in my multivitamins, which I've been changing every time I've run out, I'm changing brands, I'm changing whatever. When I looked at my paperwork today, from the dietitian, I, I'm supposed to be on something like 85 milligrams of iron and my the one that I've been taking is 14 so I think that I'm probably anemic and then I was looking into anemia and all of the side effects that that has and 
I've got everything basically on there. I'm like breathless when I come up the stairs and my heart is like 120 beats per minute. I'm like, whew, you know, well, that's not normal. Um, especially because I'm I've lost so much weight. You know, I've lost 118 pounds, I think it is. So I wasn't that breathless when I was bigger coming up the stairs. So why am I now? Um, I'm fatigued. I'm not sleeping. I'm sleeping like five or six hours a night, and that is disturbed sleep. I'm probably I'm not even sleeping that. I gotta be honest. And you know, my daughter has sleep issues as well. So if it's five or six nights uh, hours a night, then that is a very good night. Um. I'm having insomnia, I'm having like ridiculous dreams, I'm pretty exhausted, my mood's extremely low and I'm flipping from like not to a thousand or nothing, I, I don't want to be around anyone, I don't even like anyone, I don't even like myself, it's just like horrific, really really bad. So. I wanted to document it and this is not really even to do with the surgery it's more something's not right and I need to sort of let myself look back on this and realize I identified it and I've been doing something to sort of get out of it so I've been taking vitamin D high dose I've been having doing light therapy every day I've been um, taking calcium citrate, uh, the iron obviously I've been taking with vitamin C but I don't think it's enough. I've been doing um, vitamin B12 drops. I've also been taking St John's Wort for three weeks and for about two months I've been uh, taking 5-HTP and I'm taking electrolytes every day because that was what started me off thinking oh I'm out of sorts you know I'm breathless and I was going dizzy and things like but it wasn't low blood sugar um so it was the electrolytes so I've been taking electrolytes every day and that's helped quite a lot um and I've also been making myself do mindfulness with the light therapy so every day at least 10 minutes I'm doing mindfulness and I'm also putting sort of the um I can't remember what it's called, but it's like a certain frequency of a mindful music that's supposed to stimulate your serotonin and all this. I'm I'm just trying anything really. I've been keeping a sort of journal which started off as me making lists for myself to actually get things done. So even showering, brushing my hair, putting makeup on. I'm I, doing the dishes every single thing I'm putting on a list to tick it off so I feel as if I'm doing something positive and getting stuff done because I've literally got no motivation at all to do anything so I've been keeping sort of a chores list things to do list and I've also been keeping a happy me sort of journal um and making sure that I do things for me every single day so showering <laughs> do my hair, put makeup on every day, getting dressed, it literally has got that bad that I'm having to sort of cheer myself on for being a human. <laughs> um, but it is working, I think. It is, yesterday I just cried, just teary all day for at least an hour. I was just like, where is this coming from? My period is due in a couple of days, it's probably that. I know that I probably am an anemic, so... I just don't know. I'm forcing myself to go out for a walk. Yesterday I couldn't go because it was absolutely pouring down really stormy. Um, today I went out for 20 minutes and I did like two little really short, short jogs for like 30 seconds because I feel like I need a sort of serotonin, adrenaline kind of boost to get me up sort of thing. Um... And I do feel a lot better for going out and I promised myself I'm going to do 30 minutes tomorrow. Just be on my own, just go for a little walk, not talk to anyone, even just keep my head down if I have to. But at least I'm getting out and sort of doing something. So I just wanted to make a note of how I feel. I know this isn't my typical weight loss, what's been brilliant, what's working, what's not working because I'm just sort of barely surviving right now um, and it's nothing to do with food, nothing to do with weight loss really, nothing to do with the surgery, I don't regret having it done, I, I 
feel in my body that I'm sort of close-ish to target. My skin is pretty loose, but I know that's going to catch up. My hair, as you know, I'm not wearing a wig today and my hair regrowth has been amazing. I've been going out without a wig on and, you know, I'm pretty happy with it. It's probably the thickest as I've ever been in my whole life. And it's looking quite flat today because I've been out in the rain. But, um, you know, I'm... My skin is okay, face-wise, spot-wise. Um, and I'm probably about a size 14 in the UK. I'm... I think I'm about one and a half stone away from my target weight. So, this last seven weeks, um, I've lost 17 pounds. I think it's brilliant. I'm not struggling. I'm eating... The last week I've been having a lot more treats and, you know, a bite of chocolate or a biscuit, which is not brilliant. And I know that it's probably going to affect me at some point, but I'm just going with it right now. I just need to sort of be all right and I need to get better. I think that once I've sorted out whatever this thing, this funk is going on, I'll be great again. And, you know, I'll be back and I, I will let you know what's worked what hasn't worked and where i'm gonna go from here sort of thing so yeah i will see you soon so bye